The Rangers Charity Foundation have recently been running their first ever Ready for Employment programme which looks to get members of the local community back into work. Community coach Greg Rogers explains more. Usually the first week when uh, the guys come in, um, it's basically about confidence building. So we get them to do like, personal profiles um, and put that into a PowerPoint presentation. So by that they come up and they tell us a little bit about their background, um, what they've done previous and what they're looking to achieve in the next kind of well, five weeks from this course and maybe in the next two or three years time. We'll get some employer visits coming up, um, such as partners like City Building. Um, also the SFA come in and they do some coaching badges as well, so for these guys to hear the background of other companies, it's, it's, it's great for them. If we can get half half of the group into employment by the end of it, and maybe other ones get into like, positive destinations such as college, the more we can get into employment as soon as possible, then we might open doors to get other people in, so we can then go and help other people out in the future as well. The participants were able to take part in a variety of different learning experiences across the programme, including hospitality, catering, football coaching and some more traditional trades such as joinery and painting and decorating. On the hospitality front, we caught up with Rangers John Reid, ahead of him leading the participants on a tour of the club's facilities. The main thing I would think it's going to bring is, is giving the kids and the young adults an opportunity to pick catering as a career and also come into a place where they might be a fan and get to be involved in the club over the years because the club's got a great relationship with the fan base as a work base because it means that they're here for longevity. Some of the staff that's been here is over 40 years and you can't buy that in the recruitment world. And what sort of things will you be passing on to those who are attending your talk today? Um, mostly it'll be why to choose hospitality and that it can be a career. It's not just a stop gap between education, further education or other um, employment that you can actually make a career of it. And from your perspective, why why hospitality? Why is this the industry to get into? Working with people, serving, um, getting the gratitude at the end of every day for people who's enjoyed an experience, especially in hospitality, because when people come to the hospitality at Rangers Football Club, it's a, it's a fantastic experience, and most people leave at the end of the day saying, thanks for a fantastic day, and you can't ask for more than that. The programme also invited Rangers legends such as John Brown and Mark Haightley to give motivational talks to the participants with Haightley delighted to help out. This is the most important part of a football club. Um, you know, the community is the football club. Without the community you don't have a football club and it's, you know, one goes hand in hand. All the old cliches, you can bring them all out but uh, none more, more important than your local communities. Um, you, know, you bring them within here, they feel good, feel good about themselves. And when you feel good about yourself, it gives you that confidence to be able to go on and do stuff that you didn't think you'd be able to do. Um, you know, and, and that's you know, that's the be all and end all for me. You know, people should be happy, should be confident, and with that, you can take that forward into life and into work. The scheme then rounded off with a celebration lunch at Ibrox Stadium and the presentation of certificates. There, we caught up with a number of the participants to get their thoughts on what they had learned. Can I write home about it enough to be honest? Um, been total success for me. Um, hopefully, getting the college courses and things like that. The guys have been absolutely brilliant. Whereas, um, they just feeling right at home. So, can't write home about it enough, to be honest. Uh, it's been quite beneficial for me, just for one reason. I've been able to get a job for it through Gary and Security, working inside Ibrook Stadium. So, for me, it's kind of a dream job working in the club I love. Greg's helped me a lot, Jordan as well, has helped me with a lot of stuff as well, bring my confidence up um, as well. He's even spoke to me about college because I want to be a sports coach um, as well, so it's been really good and it's built my confidence right up. I think it's been in a, a tremendous experience, one that's going to live with me, you know what I mean, and hopefully I can progress into a full-time job. A lot of skills, interview skills, things like that, you know, to make you able and confident enough to go and apply for work because some people are not confident in these situations and these guys have definitely helped make that happen, so yeah, I'd say that's the most important one. To see them come through the full six weeks and still be here at the end of it um, is night and day. Um, so you've got boys just came in here and started um, doing presentations and um, doing interviews without even thinking about it. Um, so it's been, it's been fantastic for everybody at the club. We've got, um, I think it's like half of the group back into employment, if it's not employment, there's, um, we've got a few others going into college as well. Um, so we'll further our education. 
still working with some of the other clients who come in and, uh, and a one-off aftercare uh, every Monday for a wee kind of three-hour session, uh, job searches, and try and find them a positive destination. The feedback we've had has been absolutely brilliant. Um, I don't think we've had any negative comments about it at all. Um, so everybody seems motivated, uh, upbeat, um, and they're all happy to go back into employment now.